So I welcome you all to the formation of aliphatic carbon-carbon bonds using acid as catalyst. In this model also we will have three lectures. This slide shows the principles of acid catalyzed carbon-carbon bond formation. The reaction involves the formation of electrophilic species using acid as catalyst. The electrophile that you generate can undergo a reaction with the nucleophile to give you a new product. The electrophiles can be formed from alkyl halide or by the addition of a proton to a double bond or a carbonyl group. For example, if you have tertiary butyl halide, when you treat with aluminum chloride, it is a Lewis acid. you can generate this carbocation which can undergo reaction with nucleophile or it can lose a proton you can get alkene as a product. You can also if you have alkene for example isobutene it can react with proton do you give you a carbocation so which again can react with the nucleophile or it can lose your proton you can get back your alkene the other example is if you have a carbonyl compound for example astone it can undergo reaction with acid to give The protonated species which is more electrophilic nature it can undergo reaction readily with the nucleophile. So in another example in manic reaction the formaldehyde undergoes reaction with proton to form this more electrophilic species which undergoes reaction with amine addition reaction it gives you form this as an electrophile. If you look at all the things, the acid helps to form electrophile which can undergo reaction with the nucleophile to give the addition product. This slide shows uh, the reaction of alkenes. For example, isobutene, when you react with acid, 60% sulfuric acid, this can act as a nucleophile, it can undergo reaction with this proton to form tertiary carbocation. So this can react with another alkene, you can get this condensation product. So addition of this alkene to this tertiary carbocation can result carbocation again this is secondary carbocation. This carbocation now there are two possibilities it can undergo further reaction with alkene or it can lose a proton for example if it lose this proton you get this compound. Alternatively if it loses this proton you will get this compound. In this reaction particularly when you use 60 percent sulfuric acid the formation of both is alkenes observed. This methylene based alkene as well as the internal alkene is observed with the ratio 4 is to 1. So these two alkenes are reduced in reaction medium to give this 2 to 4 trimethylpentane which we use as a 
high octane fuel. So the concentration of sulfuric acid is uh, very important in this reaction. This is an example for intermolecular condensation of alkenes. Isobutenes can be reacted, two molecules, one can convert into electrophile with, by reacting with the acid. Another alkene can act as a nucleophile, it can undergo addition, you make a new carbon-carbon bond between this carbon of uh, carbocation and this carbon of the alkene, you make a secondary carbocation. That carbocation can lose a proton to give this alkenes in 4 is to 1, which is reduced in situ uh, to give this 2 to 4 trimethylpentane, which we use as a high octane fuel. So, just I mentioned the concentration of sulfuric acid is very important in this reaction. If we use dilute sulfuric acid, it can form carbocation as we have seen earlier. So, now the tertiary carbocation undergoes reaction with water molecule that is present in the reaction medium which acts as a nucleophile. Instead of reaction with another alkene, in this case, this water molecule under reacts with this tertiary carbocation. When you use dilute sulfuric acid to give this protonated tertiary butanol, which can lose a proton to give the tertiary butanol as the product. Now, let us look at it. So, if you use 60 percent sulfuric acid, just we have seen the condensation of isobutin takes place, you get the addition product. On the other hand, if you use dilute sulfuric acid, isobutin undergoes reaction with water to give tertiary butanol as a product. On the other hand, if you increase the concentration of the sulfuric acid, for example, if you increase the concentration of the sulfuric acid higher than 60 percent, the formation of polymer is observed. What happens here is that the alkene, as we have seen earlier, can undergo reaction with this proton to form a tertiary carbocation. This tertiary carbocation can undergo reaction with this alkene, as we have seen the the first example, you can get this addition product, where you have the secondary carbocation. This secondary carbocation can undergo reaction with further with another alkene. It can go on here, you generate another secondary carbocation, which can further undergo reaction with another molecule of isobutene, then you can form polymer as a product. So, the concentration of acid plays very important role in the condensation of alkenes. By varying the concentration of alkenes, you can control the condensation in dimer or you can also increase the condensation into polymer depends upon the strength of the sulfuric acid. So far, we have seen intermolecular reaction one alkene is converted into electrophile by reacting with the proton. The other alkene acts as a nucleophile, the addition reaction takes place, you get another carbocation that again undergoes reaction. Okay, here an example shown, this is, it, it has three double bonds, is going to be intramolecular reaction. And the cyclization of this triene is shown here. When you react this ion with acid, the formation of both the alpha and beta ion is observed. This can be explained as follows. Now, there are two possibilities. This can react with the proton. Now, if you react like this, you form a tertiary carbocation. On the other hand, it can also react in other way,
So in this way, you form the secondary carbocation. The tertiary carbocation is more stable comparing to secondary carbocation. This is observed as a major product. Once you form this tertiary carbocation, which can undergo reaction with this double bond, so you will form another tertiary carbocation. Once you form this one, now there are two possibilities. If you lose this proton, you can get this, the alpha and as a product. On the other hand, if you lose this proton, you will have beta ionon as the product. There is also another possibility. You can also lose this proton, but this is less favored because once you form here, it can undergo isomerization to form a more stable alkene. The formation of these two mixture of these two ionon is observed, alpha as well as beta. The beta ionon is used as precursor to make vitamin A. So, as you can see, this is a very useful reaction when you have this kind of substrate. When you treat with catalytic amount of acid, it can readily undergo cyclization to give five membered or six membered cyclic compounds. Once you form this kind of cyclization, it can lose a proton, can give another more stable alkene as the product. Now, let us look at these examples. This also is a triene. This triene, when you react with sulfuric acid at room temperature, and it gives the transphysetacalin as the product. When you use this tetraenis as a starting material, you can also try to cyclize, you can get the tricyclic compound. But when you increase uh, the number of double bond, the yield is uh, reduced. And the formation of this uh, transfuse tetraenis can be explained as follows. When you have the acid, as we have seen earlier, it can protonate, it can undergo reaction, it can act as a nucleophile, it can undergo a reaction with this proton to give a tertiary carbocation. So, I have written the chair form. So, when you react with acid, you have the tertiary carbocation. Now, which can undergo reaction with this double bond intramolecularly to give this tertiary carbocation, which can further undergo reaction cyclization to give the bicyclic compound. So, 
So, you have here the secondary carbocation after a reaction of this double bond, which can undergo reaction with uh, water, you will get the So, the stereochemistry this this is methyl group ok. Now, if you look at it both are axial this methyl group and this one 1 to axial axial is, go, is going to be trans. So, therefore, you get the trans stereochemistry here and when you look at these two they are cis and this can be and if you look at here and this is the axial position this is the equatorial ok. This is the equatorial one this is the axial one hydrogen. So, 1 to here the relationship between this axial and equatorial again one if you take this one is going to be cis. And if you look at this two and here again this equatorial equatorial is going to be if you see the this one is going to be again equatorial equatorial is going to be trans. The stereochemistry can be understood by drawing this uh, chair conformation. Uh, what happens here the reaction of this double bond with this uh, proton forms a tertiary carbocation. The carbocation undergoes further reaction with this double bond. This axis a nucleophile undergoes addition here you form a new carbon carbon bond you form a new carbon carbon bond at the same time you generate a new carbocation. This tertiary carbocation can undergo reaction with this double bond. So, you form again new carbon carbon bond and a carbocation secondary carbocation. Once you form this one this can react uh, with water and uh, so you get the hydroxy compound. You can try to understand uh, drawing the chair conformation of uh, this uh, tetraene. For example, Now, you can write double bond here and uh, another double bond. So, now once you form the carbocation by adding acid. Now, this can undergo cyclization you generate a carbocation this can undergo further cyclization you have another carbocation here this can be further undergo reaction in this way you can get this uh, uh, tricyclic compound and you have to remember uh, you generate three carbon carbon bonds. So, this is a tandem reaction uh, once you form the carbocation the reaction takes place and you can uh, form three carbon carbon bonds sequentially in addition to that you also form a CO bond 
under these conditions. Now let us look at isomerization of alkene. This is a disubstituted alkene. And this is trisubstituted alkene. Basically, they are regioisomers. So, when you treat this alkene with acid, you form a tertiary carbocation that can lose a proton. If you lose this proton, then you can get this more substituted alkenes which is uh, more stable. Therefore, the isomerization takes place when you react with acid, you will be able to form uh, the trisubstituted alkene as the product. So, acid can be used as catalyst for the isomerization of alkenes to give stable alkene as the product. First, you form the electrophile which can lose a proton to give the more stable alkene as the product. So far, we have seen the reaction of alkenes using acid as catalyst. Now, let us see a few examples the reaction of aldehydes and ketones with acid as catalyst. So, acid plays dual role the reaction of aldehydes. It can protonate the carbonyl group of aldehyde, it can increase the electrophilicity of the carbonyl group by protonation. So, if you compare this one, this more electrophilic nature, it can be, so acid can protonate, can react with the lone pair of the oxygen, you can form this species which is more electrophilic nature comparing to this. In addition to that, proton also can help to form enol. For example, in this case, once you form this species, which can lose a proton, you can form enol as a product. So, this can act as a nucleophile, it can undergo a reaction with electrophile to give the carbon carbon bond formation. So, the reaction of acetaldehyde is shown here. So, as just we have seen, acetaldehyde in the presence of acid can convert into this more reactive electrophile by protonation. Alternatively, it can also give a enol form of this aldehyde. So, now once you have the enol, now this can undergo reaction with this carbonyl group to give the addition product. This can lose a proton to give this aldol as the product, this reaction. So, in this case, and one of the aldehyde molecule acts as an electrophile, it undergoes protonation from this more reactive carbonyl group. The other one is converted into enol, which acts as a nucleophile, the, it undergoes addition, you make a new carbon carbon bond between this carbon and carbonyl group of this protonated carbonyl group of this carbon to give this aldol as a product. Once you form this aldol in presence of acid, this as just we have seen, this aldehyde also can be converted into enol as just we have seen. It can undergo protonation followed by losing a proton, you form this enol. Once you form this enol, now this hydroxyl also can be 
protonated to give this can now lose water to give this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound as a product. So, the overall reaction is called aldol condensation, the addition followed by dehydration and this reaction of acetaldehyde takes place one of the aldehyde is converted into electrophile another is a nucleophile the addition reaction takes place you make a new carbon carbon bond once if you form since acidic medium it can undergo dehydration to give this alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde as the product. So, just we have seen the reaction of acetaldehyde an example shown here the reaction between astophenone and benzaldehyde an example for crossed aldol condensation. This astophenone can react with acid to form enol as we have seen once you form this enol in this case benzaldehyde this one acts as a electrophile it can undergo reaction here to give this can further undergo protonation. then you will get this product. This involves addition followed by dehydration to give this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound as the product. So, just we have seen one example reaction between astrophenone and benzaldehyde to give the aldol product which undergoes dehydration to give this chalcon. Now, let us look at the reaction between benzaldehyde and this ketone. This ketone when you use as a base and you get this as a major compound, when you use acid uh, this compound is observed as a major product. Although the aldol condensation is usually carried out using base as uh, catalyst to get the best result, sometimes the acid catalyzed aldol condensation is useful to get different product. This is an example for that. This because now when you take this ketone and there are two possibilities the base can deprotonate this acidic proton as well as this. Suppose if it deprotonates this one for example, A you will get this enolate. On the other hand, if you deprotonate this proton, you will get this enolate. There are two possibilities. Similarly, when you use acid as catalyst, there is a possibility of the formation of these two enols. Now, let us look at here once you form the unilate. So, this can undergo addition reaction with benzaldehyde carbonyl group and similarly this also can react you get the two products here. The crucial step in this is and after the formation of this aldol product from the enolate with benzaldehyde, the deprotonation of this acidic proton is crucial to form this anion and that can be stabilized by this carbonyl group as enolate as you can see here. And when you use base as catalyst, the formation of this enolate is favored comparing to that. So, that is the reason formation of this anion is more favored comparing to this. Therefore, 
when you use as base as catalyst we observe this as a major product. Once if you form this one it can undergo dehydration you get this as a major product. On the other hand when you use acid as catalyst as just we have seen in the presence of acid you can form these two enols. They exist in equilibrium the reaction medium. So, now this enol undergoes reaction with aldehyde and the reaction of this enol is favored therefore, the product that is formed in other words in the case of acid catalyzed reaction the formation of carbon carbon bond is crucial in the case of base catalyzed reaction the formation of this anion plays crucial role they are responsible for the difference in the selectivity of these two reactions. In the acid catalyzed reaction the new carbon carbon bond formation plays crucial role on the other hand in the base catalyst reaction the deprotonation of this proton plays crucial role since the concentration of the formation of this anion is much favored therefore, this is observed as the major product. Now, let us look at the reaction of ketones the reaction of cyclopentanone shown here. as we have seen earlier the ketone can undergo reaction with the acid you can form enol as well as this activated carbonyl compound the electrophilicity of this carbonyl group now is increased once you form this one now it can undergo addition reaction with this you will have this addition product you form new carbon carbon bond between this carbon and this carbonyl group. Once you form this one it can lose a proton to give the aldol product. So, this aldol product as we have seen since we carry out the reaction acidic medium can undergo protonation you have this speed which can lose water molecule and you generate a tertiary carbocation. It can lose proton to give this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound as a product via E 1 elimination. Here are the two possibilities once you form the carbocation if you lose this proton you will get this double bond. On the other hand you also have proton here if you lose this one you will be able to form this compound this is not favored because it is a conjugated system is more favored compared to that therefore, as soon as you form this and deep uh, removal of this proton takes place you get this uh, compound as the major product. Even if you form this one in acidic medium it can undergo isomerization to give this as the major product. Now, let us look at this uh, diketone. This is an example for intramolecular aldol reaction the presence of acid you can form the enol. Once you form the enol in acidic medium you can also activate this carbonyl group by protonation then it can undergo intramolecular addition reaction you get this compound. Once you form this one you can again protonate then removal of water can generate 
A carbocation. Now, if you lose this proton, you will get the conjugated system. And you can look at here almost uh, this product is observed in quantitative yield. So, this can be easily this addition reaction can be explained as follows. And you will form a bicycle system where a 5 and 7 member ring can be generated through this intramolecular alder reaction in quantitative yield. This another example where uh, intramolecular reaction is involved. So, the previous case we have seen the reaction of cyclic ketone. In this case, as we have seen earlier, when you react this diketone with acid, there is a possibility of the formation of two types of enol. If you form this enol can now can undergo reaction as shown here and when you in the acid medium you can activate this carbonyl group you can undergo cyclization you can get this aldol as the product once formed which can undergo protonation followed by dehydration to give this six membered alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound as a product and you form the bond between this in this case this carbon and this carbonyl group you form a six membered ring usually the formation of five and six membered rings are favored in these reactions on the other hand if you happen to form this enol which also can undergo cyclization. However, if you look at here and if you use this enol, you have to form a 8 member ring which is not favored and when you compare it to that the formation of 5 or 6 member rings are favored under these conditions. Now, let us look at uh, just we have seen two examples for uh, uh, intramolecular aldol reactions. An example for acylation of ketones and when you react this carboxylic acid with, with phosphoric acid under heating in acetic acid the formation of this uh, diketone uh, bicyclic ketone is observed. The formation of this ketone can be explained as follows. So, protonation of this acid can form this which can lose water molecule to give this acylium ion. Now, in since you carry out the reaction acidic medium as we have seen then you can form the enol. The enol now can undergo reaction to give this bicyclic diketone as a product. If you form enol this side you will be able to get bicyclic ketone. On the other hand, if you form enol, this enol, this side, now you will be able to form four membered ring. Uh, this is not favored due to the strain and the formation of four membered ring as we have seen in the previous case, the six membered ring is favored comparing to eight membered ring due to strain and same thing happens here also the six member ring formation of this six member ring is uh, favored comparing to the four member ring. So, when you use this as a substrate when you react with phosphoric acid and are heating and you get this as the product and this formation of this is observed because uh, this involves the formation of uh, four member ring which is not feasible. So, the here acylation of ketone is shown using Lewis acid as the catalyst. So, when you have the Lewis acid which can make chelation with the lone pair of the carbonyl group, you can make this activated electrophile which can convert into this enolate. 
Now, this acidic anhydride also, you have the lone pair can react with this, uh, make chelation with this Lewis acid, you form the activated acyl group. Now, so you will get uh, this species and uh, you have the acylium ion which can now undergo reaction with this enolate to give the product, additional product and you form in this way you can carry out acylation of ketone. Here you use Lewis acid as the catalyst. Okay, here the reaction of 2 methyl pyridine using zinc chloride catalyst is shown. So, pyridine the lone pair of nitrogen can make chelation with zinc chloride you have this activated species you can form this intermediate once you form this alkene now which can undergo reaction benzaldehyde carbonyl group you can get this addition product what you do here you make new carbon carbon bond between this carbon and carbonyl group of benzaldehyde once you form this intermediate this when you do the workup you can get this addition product alcohol which can undergo dehydration to give this conjugated alkene as a product So, these reaction conditions can also be applied for other substrate like 4 methylpyridine and this 2 methylquinoline and 4 methylquinoline and uh, this 1 methyl isoquinoline. You can apply all uh, the substrate, they work very well, and these are unsuccessful substrate for this condition. In summary, uh, in this class we have seen the activation of carbonyl group like aldehydes and ketones with the acid as catalyst. It can protonate with the lone pair of uh, carbonyl group of aldehyde and ketone, enhance the electrophilicity of the carbonyl group. For example, in the case of uh, reaction of acetaldehyde, one of the aldehyde is converted into enol. The other acts as electrophile, it can undergo addition reaction, you can get the aldol product, which can undergo further reaction dehydration to give the alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. Similarly, we have seen the bicyclic ketone where in acidic medium you can form the enol which can also undergo reaction with intramolecularly the activated carbonyl group you can make bicyclic system this reaction is quite useful to make five membered and six membered cyclic systems we have seen some example we also have seen the tandem cyclization of triens which can be transformed into bicyclic system with uh, selective stereochemistry. We also have seen the formation of tricyclic system from tetraene using acid as catalyst. Then we also have seen the acylation of ketone using carboxylic acid as acylating agent, using phosphoric acid as the catalyst. Following that, we have seen the acylation of ketone with acetic anhydride as acylating agent using BF3 as the catalyst. Following that, we have seen the reaction of 2-methylpyridine with benzaldehyde or aromatic aldehyde in the presence of zinc chloride. 
In addition to that, we also have seen the condensation of alkenes and that reaction depends upon the concentration of the acid. For example, in the case of isobutene, if we use 60% sulfuric acid, they can undergo self-condensation to give the dimer. First, one of the alkene is converted into carbocate electrophile. The other alkene acts as a nucleophile, undergoes addition, you make a new carbon-carbon bond. So you generate the secondary carbocation, which loose proton, you get the alkene as the product. On the other hand, when you use diluted sulfuric acid as a catalyst, the isobutene undergoes hydration to give tertiary butanol as the product. You form the carbocation, which undergoes reaction with water present the reaction medium to give alcohol as the product. On the other hand, if you use concentrated sulfuric acid, they undergo further reaction to give volumer as a product. And with this, we conclude this lecture. Thank you very much.